listening to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I just learned what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent.
I can't read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses. But I am told that that's quite ironic. So, yeah, here's Hugh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at... Oh. Oh. ...with Campus Food Court, where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens.
Here's Wanda, who'll be telling us the coolest way to get around the county. Yes, the bus is the new hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do. Driving. But this way, it's much more safe. Janitor required in training room. Class is starting. Please take a seat. Milk me. We use real dairy.
ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of milk made is eerily similar to the last. Wow! Mmm, milk made. Now that's good milk. Not technically milk. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Gastronomy students are reminded that snacks are always welcome. needed in library. Class is starting. Please take a seat. all from us today at Campus Radio. As expected, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use that button during the show, so before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. There you have it. Showering is technically but not socially optional. Announcement. Campus does not offer ensuite accommodation.
amenity required in bathroom. Sleep is important, but you can do it later. Students with pastoral issues should go to student support. Students should go to pastoral support for, well, anything really. needed in dormitory. Your book is upside down. That's your book upside down. in bathroom. Frequently asked questions. 
You can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you. Taking your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio, and it's gonna be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom, screaming into a thankless night. It's gonna be a huge show today, so I'm gonna eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. Did you see that Bungle launched another rocket into space the other day? I'm sure they'll tell you that it's important work, but what I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? 
I mean, how many times do we have to do the same little bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. Forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you're going to say? Thoughts are like frogs, and sometimes they just hop away. But they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Hell, oh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. Showering is technically, but not socially, optional. Student housing should be character building, not pleasant.
that opening a book is not the same as reading. Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Starting soon. You're not late yet. Harrison Wolf bringing you unfiltered content on Two Point Radio. I don't have an editor on my show. Why? Because editors can change what you say. 
They could make me say, hey everyone, come to my house and take my petunias. But I'd never say that outside of this specific example. It's gotta be natural, man. Give me juice with the pulp and give me cheese with the wax on. This is Radio O Natural. It's al fresco. It's al dente. Oh yeah. I was watching some of that Cheesy Gubbins show the other day. You know, the Cheesy Goblins? Man, was I confused. What's their deal? Do they grow the Gubbins? Are they trying to find them or mine them or something? I tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Tip of the hat to any kids listening along. The campus does not offer ensuite accommodation. Required in savory kitchen. Take 
time on your assignments if you think you have time. Some expressions are more than a little strange, like getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What are you talking about? If you're having a lousy day, there's no need to vilify half of your mattress, my man. Jeez, just have a bagel or something. There's enough negativity in the world.
It's the end of today's show. But don't worry. Every ending is the opportunity for you to, you know, go and do something else. When life flushes a toilet, it starts showing a cool movie at that theater downtown. So have a good one, my friends. See you next time. Your finger is not a toothbrush.
This is Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio, where we do all the work for none of the pay. We've got a great show for you, but first, here's some music. It doesn't matter how desperate you are, no urinating on campus facilities. Student, it can be hard to find time for, well, everything. Here's Maggie with a tip for getting things done. Multitasking is great. I don't know what I'd do without it. Sometimes I'm there writing an essay while listening to a recorded lecture and covering an event for campus radio, and it just dawns on me. If multitasking wasn't so great, this would all be a bit much. Thanks, multitasking. Library requesting assistant.
And now, the story of a teaching hospital and some missing bones. Here at the teaching hospital in Mitten, students look forward to a long and healthy life in medicine. But while they were sleeping, with visions of crutches and pharmaceutical machinery in their heads, their teaching skeletons went missing. They've tried making their own skeletons out of wire, toothpicks, and toilet paper, but sadly, they're 39 bones short and don't know what they're missing. For now, their education and the future of healthcare in our county is looking boneless and a little limp. Fliss, back to you. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. with pastoral issues should go to student support.
Hey guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Everybody get in the shed! I can't revise anymore. My knees hurt. Roderick Cushion is varsity freshman in Immature Students. Students with medical issues should go to the health clinic.
for joining us on Campus Radio. If anyone from Two Point Radio is listening in or has received my emails, I graduate next year and will be available for paid or unpaid roles at your station. Thanks.
janitor needed in dormitory. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. <laughs> 